Hey, what's up guys? Just showing you a little quick look on what's going on with my tank right now. Right now I'm going to be taking out this uh, large candy cane coil, this land, this large colony here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and give that to my local LFS today. I'm going to be taking all these frags too and giving it to my local LFS except for that little SPS frag right there on the bottom right there. I'm going to keep him. I think that's actually a strawberry shortcake of some sort. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep that because that was actually one of my original um, acros that I had right here a while back ago before this one actually took its place. So I saved a piece of them. And um, that is the small little colony that yeah, was right here on the sand bed, which is now lodged right there. And there is the Walt Disney that was over there. So I moved that tenuous coral over here. So that is now there. And... That's all I'm going to do for today. I'm going to get those out of there and, you know, it's just, uh, it's just um, time for a change when it comes to just growing these things out, you know. That's the thing. I got to get rid of this guy here too and I might get rid of this big old thing here so I can let this green slimer that's already getting shadowed here just continuously grow and I might place them right there on the top. So... Just letting you guys know what I'm doing right now, and I'm gonna be pulling those things out right now. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out this candy cane colony. I got this nice little red bucket, and um, just gonna just take out some water here. I already put some extra water in the sump system to compensate for what I'm taking out. And um, just to let you guys know, also, I switched over to Tropic Marin. So, the Pro Reef Saw, I've been hearing a lot of good things about it, you know from other YouTubers, reefers, and I've been using Red Sea Blue Bucket almost my entirety when it came to uh, salt for my saltwater systems, my tanks, my uh, fish only systems, all of that. It's always been Red Sea. So switching over to Tropic Marin, I'm not noticing too much of a difference, but just the quality of water, I guess, is just better. and. Soon I'll find out when I do an ICP test on whether or not I'm being depleted in the wrong areas or being, you know, replenished in the right areas. So we'll see. Um, so right now I'm going to pull out this candy can, just put in some nice, good, sufficient water in here. Get that going. And um, Arlene's right here recording. Say hi. Hello, YouTubers on the channel of Home 14. You know what? I don't like the way it feels right there. I'm just gonna put this down right here. There we go. Forgot to get the card out. Okay. Take this out. Here. Ooh, nice big colony. Nice big, great candy cane colony. Had this guy for over what? Two years now? Or then when we got it? Like a oh, year and a half? Two? been a while we were together when we got this and when we got this piece this piece was only three heads three heads huh three heads and now it's this huge colony now it's and like I, a beast yeah it's a beast of a colony and take it out oh, there it is i don't have time to sell these things on craigslist and stuff so taking it to aquatic collection you want to come arlene you want to see that Look at that. Nice, big, huge, neon, green colony that's going to be going to Aquatic Collection and they can do what they wish with it, frag it out, sell it for more. Sooner or later, this colony here is going to be just as big as that guy, but I'm going to try not to let it get as big. And I'm going to get my frag tank going. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm reinforcing the sub floor over there in my son's old room so I can go ahead and um, put that frag tank and everything, just make sure everything's all stable enough where I don't have to backtrack on anything to try to fix anything. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, put this guy here and I'm going to give this style and all these other corals and I'm going to take off a huge chunk. You want to come over here with me? Of uh, the other chaos and if you want to come right here and see you see that free floating 
utter chaos that's right about there all that utter chaos that's been growing over the Walt Disney and over that uh, chalice there is gonna be cut off so I'm gonna tear off that piece give all these frags too and we're gonna give that to aquatic collection also because these utter chaos they grow like weeds they grow like weeds I got them in my in my Achilles tank and this tank and my bedroom tank is just growing out also in there too now so Tear out a piece. There it is. Well, I see I didn't have to struggle. Look at that. What is that huge clump of large heads? Utter chaos. So I'm going to go ahead and give them that. Put that right here. Put that. So they can go ahead and. And I'm gonna give them all these little frags right here too. And some of these frags have been in here for a while that they got a little bit of hair algae growing on the plugs, but um, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to take care of that issue. But you can see these plugs have so many polyps on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them those also. Just put those in there. Put these all in there. Look at that. They've healed nicely, they're growing new heads. So. This one doesn't have even that much hair algae at all on it, but so whoever they sell them to, they'll sell them to, and it's great. Nice. So I'm also going to be giving them some of the style of foil also. Let me just get this all out of the way. Beautiful little frags too. Look at that. Nice, perfect heads. I think we're good with that and then we'll go ahead and give them the rest of that digi and, and style okay so now i'm gonna just do the same thing just put a little water in these buckets here and i'm gonna go ahead and give them the rest of those frags right there i wish i can just clip out more stuff right now i just don't have the time i just want to get rid of the stuff that's just been sitting on the frag rack and get the frag rack out but I'm not going to get the frag rack out of the tank just yet until I get that frag system going. And when I do, it's going to be so awesome. And it's going to be so convenient, too, to be able to just not have any of these frags just sitting around on, um, on the racks here inside of my display systems. So you can see these guys are just big. You know, they got a little hair algae on the bottoms and stuff, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to take care of that. Uh -huh. This is actually a beautiful piece right here. It's got to go to. This might actually just keep right there. It's a nice chalice piece right there. Just clean up the hair algae. And stuff. 
side. Other than that, that's it guys. We're gonna take this to the aquatic collection and now I got room to put some more things on there and until I get my frag tank going, but uh, that's gonna be coming up soon. And if anything, this is just a little quick look on what I'm doing to my office tank right now. And this Walt Disney tank right there that's growing right there, that acro, is actually gonna be doing really well. And he's already liking where he's at. He's been there for like about a week's time already because I actually moved him out of place like a week from this video ago and that's it things are just growing and it's a beautiful thing I appreciate you guys just watching this video and hopefully everything's going well with you guys tanks and all reaping community you know stay strong and all right this is the Herm just saying patience and stability is always key and most of all, patience. Patience. Regardless of things going wrong, regardless of things just stabilizing itself and going right. Patience. And always water test, ICP test, whatever you want to do. Anything that can actually make your reaping experience easier is always a good thing. But sometimes too easy can also be a bad thing. So, I don't know. It's a top. Of, it's, it's a toss of the coin, and it's it, it's a uh, it's a conversation on both sides. So, anyways, guys, peace, patience, and stability is key, and uh, talk to you guys next time.